Happy Sunday, everybody, and welcome to the Cutting Room 101 collab channel here on YouTube, where I, along with a few other YouTube movie critics, come each week and discuss a new topic regarding film. This week, for our first topic, we're talking about our favorite movie score and our most underrated movie score. My favorite movie score of all time comes from a movie that people regard as a modern American classic. It's a great film. I am, of course, talking about Paul Thomas Anderson's There Will Be Blood. The score for There Will Be Blood is composed by John Greenwood, who was a member of the band Radiohead, and this movie gets praised a lot for Daniel Day-Lewis's performance, it gets praised for Paul Thomas Anderson's direction, and those deserve to be praised, they're great, but you know what, I think this movie would not be what it is without the score by Johnny Greenwood. You watch the opening 15 minutes of this movie, and there's zero dialogue, it's just image, music, and silence, and when it's just music and image, the music really draws you in, it really gives you a sense of this filthy atmosphere of drilling for oil. It really brings you into this world and makes you so invested. The sound of the score is also very unique and it's a lot of pounding loud orchestral stuff um, but there's also some really interesting percussion uh, used here especially in a track I really like called Proven Lands and you can find that link down in the info but it basically takes place when Daniel Plainview played by Daniel Day-Lewis is looking for land to drill for oil on and um, just the sound of it there's some really interesting percussion there and, and it's a really really cool track. Now my most underrated movie score comes from a movie that's definitely not underrated although I think its score is very underlooked and I'm of course talking about Stanley Kubrick's amazing film, A Clockwork Orange. Yes, I know this movie features a lot of unoriginal music. It has Beethoven, it has Gene Kelly singing in the rain. However, Walter Carlos composed some of the synthesizer tracks in this movie that were originally made for the film, and they are just terrific. The score in this movie is most effectively used in the opening sequence, and for those of you guys who have not seen it, I put a link for you in the description, but basically it starts out with a blank red screen and the opening titles play over it with this song playing the synthesizer -y tune and then after that finishes up it cuts to a direct close-up on Malcolm McDowell's face looking menacing as ever and then pulls out slowly and then it has his voiceover you see his surrounding environment and basically the reaction that I got when I first saw it was what kind of movie am I about to watch? This is going to be a crazy movie and, and just what kind of ride am I about to be taken on? And it perfectly captures just the insane tone of this movie. It's a crazy movie. The score works beautifully and I absolutely love it. So there you go guys. Those are my picks for the best and most underrated movie scores of all time. Leave a comment with your favorite and your most underrated picks. Did we forget something this week that you guys really liked? Let us know. I also put some links in the description for you guys to check out. I put the opening scene to There Will Be Blood. I guess it's more like an opening 15 minute sequence with no dialogue. I also put the link to the track Proven Lands from There Will Be Blood that I was talking about earlier and the opening kind of two minutes of the uh, Clockwork Orange, so you guys can see what I was talking about there. This week, Brant from Film Recall is going to kick it off tomorrow. We're talking about our favorite movie actors. Mike from Mike's Movie Show suggested that, so that's what we're going to be doing. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, comment, like, do it all right here on the Cutting Room 101. Thanks for watching. Bye.